Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is an array and what is one dimensional array and two dimensional array. Guys, I have uploaded complete PPS subject tutorials. I will provide link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Arrays are used to store multiple values in single variable instead of declaring separate variable for each value. For example, if I want to declare value to a variable, then I need to declare like int a equal to 10, comma b equal to 20, comma c equal to 30, comma d equal to 40. For each value, I took separate variable. For example, if I want to store value 10, I took variable a. And if I want to store value 20, I took B. And similarly, if I want to store 30 and 40, then I took variable C and variable D. But if I want to store all these values, 10, 20, 30 and 40 in single variable, for that purpose, we use arrays. For example, instead of taking separate variable for each value, I can take only single variable and then I include values in that in a of this is square bracket to create an array define data type array name and square brackets this is an example here I took int a of 5 equal to 10 20 30 40 and 50 where int is data type a is name of an array and 5 is size of an array we need to include size in square brackets. Here 5 represents size of an array. For example, if I want to store 5 values like 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. If I want to store 5 values, then I need to include size as 5. For example, if I want to store 15 values, then here I need to include size as 15. You need to include values inside curly brackets and you need to close with semicolon. An array contains data type, array name and size of an array where we need to include size of an array in square brackets or you can also write like this data type, variable name, size. Variable name and array name both are same. Example into a of 5 where we need to include 5 in square bracket. Guys it is not mandatory to include size of an array. You can also write like this. You can also write like this into a open square bracket and close square bracket is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 whenever you declare like this whenever you do not include size then automatically this array will take size automatically it will count these values 10 20 30 total there are three values so automatically it will take size as three so it is not mandatory to include size of an array an array must contain only similar type of elements for example here i took int a so i need to declare only integer elements here and array should not contain mixed type of elements for example here i took one value as integer one value as float and one value as character i should not declare like this if i declare like this it will display error so if i declare here float i need to take only float elements if i declare here character i should take only character elements and if i take here integer i, I should take only integer elements i should not declare mixed type of elements in an array here i took into a of 5 that means size of an array is 5 whenever i declare size as 5 this array will create five memory locations one two three four five because i given size as five so an array will give index numbers for this you need to remember one important thing that is index number always starts with zero not with one here i given values 10 20 30 40 here i took size as five but i given only four values so this value 10 is stored in index number zero value 20 is stored in index number one and 30 and 40 are stored in index number 2 and 3 this is how values are stored in an array example if i declare here value as 50 then this 50 is stored in index number 4 total i given 5 values 10 20 30 40 and 50 so it created 5 memory locations and and first location starts with index number 0 so this first value is stored in index number 0 similarly second third fourth fifth values are stored in index number 1 2 3 4 this is how we store elements in an array this is simple program of how to access elements in an array. Here I took int a. This square bracket represents array. Here I took integer because I want to declare integer values. So I took data type as int. Int a square bracket open and close is equal to I given values as 10, 20, 30, 40. All are integer values. You need to include values inside curly brackets. Otherwise, it will display error message and close statement with semicolon. Printf percentage %d. Here I took percentage %d because for integer we use format specifier percentage %d, comma a of 0. That means whatever the value that is present 
inside index 0 will be printed as output i already said before first value is stored in index number 0 and second value is stored in index number 1 third in index 2 and fourth in index 3 here i took a of 0 so output is 10 for example if i take here a of 1 then value which is present in index number 1 will be printed as output so output is 20 this is example this is another example here i took float data type because i want to declare float values so i took here float data type i want to print all these values i want to print 1.5 1.6 1.7 so for that purpose i need to write percentage f percentage f comma percentage f i took three format specifiers because I want to print three values as out comma a of 0 comma a of 1 comma a of 2 that is values which are present in index number 0 index number 1 and index number 2 will be printed as output so output is 1.5 which is present in index number 0 1.6 comma 1.7 this is output here for this program I got output as 10 because here I declared index number 0 so I got output as 10 but I want to change this value 10 to 100. So for that purpose, I need to write a of 0 is equal to 100. That means value which is present in index number 0 is changed to 100. So now I will get output as 100. For example, if I want to change this value 20 as 200, then I need to write a of 1 is equal to 200. This is how we manipulate elements in an array. For example, I want to get output values along with index numbers like a of 0 is equal to 25, a of 1 equal to 35, I want to get output like this. So for that purpose I use for loop. These are the 4 values that I declared to an array A. They are 25, 35, 45 and 55. And similarly for this index numbers, these index numbers are integers. So here I took int i. Now I need to write for loop for index numbers. So here I took 4 values, 25 stored in index number 0, 35 in 1, 45 in 2 and 55 in index number 3. So every index number starts with 0. So here I took i is equal to 0, semicolon, i less than 4 because still 3 now. So I took here i less than 4 semicolon i plus plus inside for loop i need to write statement in order to print output for that purpose i use printf inside double quotations i need to write a of percentage d is equal to percentage d this percentage d belongs to index number and this percentage d belongs to array of elements so by writing this statement i will get output as a of 0 is equal to 25 a of 1 is equal to 35 a of 2 equal to 45 and a of 3 equal to 55 this is output here value of i starts with 0 so at first it will replace value of i with 0 and similarly a of i value of i 0 a of 0 mean value which is present in index number 0 will be printed as output so i will get output as a of 0 is equal to 25 until this condition is satisfied, I will get output. Till now, what we have discussed is one dimensional array. In one dimensional array, array contains only one square bracket where we will include size in it. But in two dimensional array, array contains two square brackets where first square brackets represent size of rows and second square bracket represent size of columns. This is one dimensional array. It contains only one square bracket where we include size in it. But in two dimensional array, it contains two dimension that is two square brackets where first square bracket represents size of rows and second square bracket represent size of columns for example if i declare a of 2 into 2 that mean it will create two rows and two columns where i can store four elements in it that is 2 into 2 that is four elements i can store in it and this two dimensional array looks same like matrix in matrix also we store same like this so we can also call this two dimensional array as matrix this is syntax of two dimensional array it contains data type array name size of rows and size of columns where we need to include square brackets for size of rows and size of columns this is example into a of 2 into 2 that means it will create two rows and two columns where 2 into 2 i can store four elements in it a of 0 0 it will start with 0 a of 0 0 represents first row first column and a of 0 1 represents first row second column and a of 1 0 represents second row first column and similarly a of 1 1 represents second row and second column this is an example in this example i took into a of 2 into 2 that means it will create two rows and two columns 2 into 2 mean i can store four values so i am declaring four values as 1 2 3 4 whenever i declare this it will create four storage locations that is one is stored in first row first column two is stored in first row second column three is stored in second row first column and four is stored in second row second column you can also declare like this both are same this is an example of two dimensional array in this example i took 
three rows and three columns. So I can store nine values in it. So I'm taking values as one, two, three, two, three, four, and four, five, six. Without including this curly brackets, also you can write. And next I took int i equal to zero and j equal to zero. That means this i belongs to rows and this j belongs to columns. As I said before, every index number starts with zero. So so here I took i equal to zero and j equal to zero. So now I need to take two for loops. One is for rows and one is for columns. So here I took for loop as i equal to zero, i less than three, and i plus plus. That means it will create three rows: zero, one, two. And similarly for column, j equal to zero, j less than three, j plus plus. That means it will create three columns. They are zero, one, and two. And in order to generate output, I need to write printf percentage d. This percentage d belongs to row i. And similarly, next percentage d that belongs to column j. Is equal to percentage d. This percentage d belongs to values. So by writing this printf statement, I will get output like this. As I said before, every index number starts with zero. So I took value of i as zero and j as zero. That means it will replace value of i row with zero and value of column with zero. And a of zero zero means value which is in first row and first column. So I will get output as one. Similarly, zero one means value which is in First row and second column. So I will get output as two. This is output. This is an example of two-dimensional array.